don't know why everybody keeps telling me I'm bitter. I'm not bitter. I just don't forget. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Wait. I remember what my mother did to me. Mm -hmm. I did something good. My brother was the one that did what was wrong, but I was the one that got blamed for it. See, I'll never forget that crap. I don't forget. I'm going to tell you right now, I do not forget. Now, check this out. Huh. Yeah, you remember that time when, when Robbie stole his mother's money and they turned around and said I did it? Uh-huh, I remember that. I'll never forget that because I got punished for that too. See, my life is filled with being blamed for stuff everybody else does. And I'm the one that gets paid the punishment. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, baby, I don't forget. Mama Sita doesn't forget, see? I don't forget that crap. And I'm going to tell you, one day I'm going to get them folks back. Payback is a dog, baby. Payback is a dog. Let me, let me share this with you. Come here, come here. See, so-and-so doesn't know that her husband tried to come on to me. Yeah, he tried to come on to me. And I thought he really meant it. I thought that he was sick of her. He really had me thinking that he was really sick of her. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He was good in that bed, too, boy. <laughs> but then he turned around. And when his wife came around, he acted like he didn't even know me, like he never saw me before. In his, and I was like, oh, no. No, baby, homie, don't play that. No, 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 no. Back that truck up. I'm going to get him. Mm -hmm. See, God don't like ugly, and neither do I. I'm going to get him. Yeah. See, I don't forget that stuff. I know what people do. When they do me wrong, I don't forget. I don't forget the date. I don't forget the year. And I don't forget what they did. And I got their name. Got their addresses, too. Mm -hmm. Payback is a low-down, dirty dog. And I pay back. Now, check this out. Remember that woman that was mad at me for talking to her brother? I wonder if she had a little something for him. I mean, I don't know. But she was mad at me for talking to her brother. And I don't know what her problem was. I guess she thought she was better than I was. I don't know. But her brother was fine. And you know what he did? Just when he was talking about us getting married. You know, that fool sat up there and said, as long as his sister didn't agree with it, he couldn't do it. I had a knife in my pocketbook. Boy, I wish I had just rammed it right in and right at that moment. Well, sit up there and let that heifer tell you what you're going to do, who you're going to, oh, I'll never forget that. See, people do me wrong. They've been doing me wrong all my life. So for those of you who want to tell me I need to let go, I need to forget, guess what? You let go, you forget. I'm hanging on to every single one. That's right. I got a nice little mound built up, a nice memorial built up. All oh, my little hurts, baby, because I earned that memorial. Mm. Yeah, I earned that. So this is what I want to tell you. When you hear stuff in the news about people disappearing, yours truly, baby. Mm-hmm. Yours truly. Boy, what I'm going to do with that one. I'm going to put a hurting on some behinds. Trust me. Yes. See, I don't play. People think they can screw over me and jack me over and stab me in my back. I got something for them. Now you watch me. You just watch me, baby cakes. Talk about I ain't got the right to be bitter. You ain't been in my shoes, baby. So you back up. Get up out of my face. I'm going to show you how I handle stuff around here. That's right. Guess what? I'm going to get my vengeance, baby. Because I got a right to every bitter feeling I got. I got a right to my rage, and no, I'm not letting it go. 
because I'm going to tear up some behinds with it. Watch me. We think that we can do pain management and we can hold the bitterness. We can hold the resentment. We can hold the anger. We can hold the feelings of being victimized. We can hold the guilt. We can hold the regret and blah, 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 blah. And it's piled up and we can rehearse that stuff like it happened yesterday. And when we talk about it today, something that happened 20 years ago, we can feel it like it happened yesterday or today. And what we don't realize is when something has that kind of a hold on you, you've got a hold on it. You're, you're actually holding it. You're not letting it go. You're holding it. And when God wants to put things in your life, you can't receive it because you're too inundated and overwhelmed by all this crap you're holding. We have to be very careful when we ask God to heal us, we have to literally be willing to let it go. Flush. Like I told Andrea, you're either going to stir it and stir up the stink, the stench, the, the, the fermentation of, of the funk, or you're going to pull the lever and flush. And if you can't pull the lever yourself and flush it down the toilet, you ask God to flush it for you. You flush it two, three, four, ten times if necessary until you feel it, you smell it, you think about it no more. God bless you on that one. That's called getting your inner healing.